Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Layla and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why I do not want a house yet. Do I want to own a home? Yes, absolutely. Someday I would like to own a home, probably multiple homes so I can have rental properties. I'm not really sure yet, but for sure I would like a house to call my own. However, right now is just not that time despite being 28 years old, despite having a career for several years, and despite being in a position where I probably could purchase a house right now, I do not want one. I wanted to make this video not only to explain myself because I get asked this question quite often, like when will you be buying a house or are you looking to buy a house anytime soon, but also to encourage others, other people of my same age or around my age who feel really pressured to need to buy a house right now or do what other people are doing to not feel that way because it can be <laughs> frustrating to say the least. So, you know, you see your friends or maybe your family's even telling you to buy a house and that's what society tells us to do. That's just like the normal thing. You know, once you're in your late 20s, you should be buying a house. But for a lot of us, things just don't work out that way. Things are very different from how they were for our parents. Some people have different circumstances. Some people don't mind having the debt of a house. Some people don't have student loans or other debts to take care of. So everybody's situation is different. And I don't think that not owning a home should make you feel bad. You do not have to see rent as a waste of money. I definitely don't see that way. I know that absolutely I am technically just losing money on this apartment because I pay for this and I'm not gonna get anything in return, but I don't look at it that way. This is my home. This is my beautiful home. I love it here. I love living here. So I am paying for that, you know? Sure, I'm not gonna make money at the end of this, but it is keeping me safe and that's all I could ask for. We will have our moment, we will get there, and you can also hear other people's stories of owning a home and how difficult it is and all these problems that they have, and yeah, it may be worth it, but not everything is just rainbows and lilies when it comes to homeowning, so. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the few reasons why I do not want to own a home right now. So the first thing is money. The, the, fir <laughs> the first part of it is just has to do with money, and that is I don't want to dedicate money to a house right now. And going along with that, I really want to do things right when it comes to purchasing a house. So right now my main priority is saving money and then paying down my student loan debt. I want to be 100% debt free before I own a house, to be honest, that's just been a goal of mine and I want to focus on that. So some people may tell you to not pay down your student loans or to slow down on that because you know, the interest rate is low or they may be forgiven, but you have to do what feels right for you. And for me, it feels right to pay down my debt versus saving for a house. And doing those two at the same time is just not feasible right now because I am making sure that I have enough money saved for my emergency fund, making sure that I put the bulk of my money toward my student loans. And then of course I have sinking funds and other things that I want to spend my money on as well. So having to create an extra savings for a house down payment is super intimidating and a lot and just not feasible for me right now. And if I did have a separate savings for a house fund, it would be so small that I don't even want to bother with that right now. And what I mean by wanting to do things the right way is I want to save up enough money to put down a 20% down payment on a house. Now I'm not saying I would necessarily do that because I know there's options to do a lot lower, However, I would like to have enough money to absolutely be able to put down 20% just because, and also even more than that, so that I can go into this house prepared, prepared for any emergencies that may come up to fix this house or take care of things that need to be fixed and taken care of right away, and to purchase the decor that I absolutely want. Now, to be honest, when I move into a house, I want it to be exactly how I want it to be. I don't want this cheap furniture anymore. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Like, absolutely, I have furniture from Target that doesn't look that great, or this couch is, I love it, it's great, but it's not the comfiest thing and it doesn't look amazing. So when I move into my house, I want to be able to decorate it exactly as I envision in my head and what's on my Pinterest boards <laughs> and I don't wanna to have to worry about moving into a house and you know, I'm six months into the move and I still don't have 
a couch, like the couch I want, or I don't have the decor like I want it because I don't have enough money for it. So that's what I mean by doing things right. I just want to make sure I have enough to cover all the things that I would like to cover. The second thing is that I'm not ready to give up the convenience of my apartment. So I was very lucky to move into this apartment when I did. I moved in February of 2019, so I've been here for several years now. And I will say that I moved at a good time because I got a pretty low rate for this luxury apartment because now this exact room, this exact, exact floor layout that I'm in is $1,800 minimum and I pay still in the 1300s, so I did get in at a good time. I literally live in like the best area of the city that I live in. I can walk to the grocery store. It's like 100 feet outside of the door. I All of my doctors are around here, like the most important ones, like in regards to the health issues I've been having. That That's more recent, but like it's super convenient that I can just literally drive two minutes down the street to the doctor that I have to see. Like three times a month anyway. Anything I could possibly need is around me, so I also can walk to a Walmart, I can walk to a Home Goods, Starbucks, uh, I can find a park, so there is still like greenery around me. There's lots of restaurants around me. I can easily da drive downtown to Atlanta. Like literally whatever I really need is within a few miles of me. The other convenience factor is just my apartment itself. So there is a pretty solid gym downstairs. I do not have a gym membership right now. And if you know me, then you know that fitness is a huge portion of my life, but there is the best gym equipment, like the equipment that you definitely need to get a solid workout in, you know? So it's not just one of those cheapy apartment gyms with like one machine and some dumbbells. It has enough for you to get a solid workout in no matter what body part you're training. So I don't have to go to a gym. There's a sauna in here that I go to on a regular basis. I can literally get free coffee every single day if I wanted to. The location of this to my current job is very convenient. I'm less than three miles away. So my commute is super short. Just everything about this place is super convenient and I'm not ready to give that up because typically once you move into a house, you are further out from the city because ideally I would be in like suburbs or something and you have to go through a lot more like I would have to drive to a gym I would have to drive to the grocery store and I, that's fine eventually one day that's gonna happen but right now I absolutely love how much time I save with the convenience of where I live the third thing is time because in my opinion having a house does take quite a bit of time because you have to maintain a lot of things. So when it comes to my apartment, again, I, if anything goes wrong, I just put in a request for maintenance and they fix it within 24 hours. I don't have to worry about cutting the lawn. I don't have to clean the lawn. I don't have to do anything <laughs> in this apartment aside from clean whatever it is in here, you know, like the basic cleaning stuff. And I feel like when you have a house, you definitely have to dedicate more time to it. So again, you'd have to cut the lawn. You would have to make sure like the gutters are clean. You got to make sure all these maintenance things are happening. And to like, for example, I would like to have a big garden one day. Right now, that, that doesn't sound great. Like I don't want to dedicate a lot of time to a garden and I don't need to do that with this apartment. I don't have any lawn. <laughs> yeah, there's just so few things that I need to do living here and compared to a house, I know that would take up a lot more of my time and not something that I want to deal with. The fourth thing is that I have no idea where I want to or should live. And I know that a lot of people will say like, oh, well, you've been working at your job for three years, over three years now, and you've lived in this apartment for three years now, so you might as well have just bought a house and blah, blah, blah. But I don't look at it that way because there's a lot of things that go behind it. You know, like I don't want to purchase a house and then have to sell it in a couple of years, or I don't want to move to a location that is not the best location for me. And so I'm still kind of feeling that out and figuring that out. And also going along with that is that I am not very settled in my life right now. And again, people could argue like you're never gonna be settled in your life. Like things are always gonna be changing. But for example, I am working on a career change, okay? So my goal is to work remote and that's gonna be a big decision once that time comes as to where I want to live because right now I don't wanna move whatsoever because I am less than three miles from my job. So I do need to still go to work, drive to work. So I need that 
that distance because I used to commute over 20 miles every day each way. So over 40 miles, almost 50 miles every day. And I get very sleepy in the car. So it was like a safety issue at that point because I would start falling asleep in the car. Uh, I was very stressed out. I was constantly in traffic. So I am not willing to commute. So that's the thing is like with the, the area that I live in now, I got a great deal in this apartment. I'm probably in the best location in this city. However, if you go out, if you branch out into the city, the houses are very, very expensive. They're either super beautiful and like over a million dollars or they're from like the 1960s and still like 400 to $500,000. So yeah, I would like to live here, but buying a house in this city, I don't, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So then the cheaper houses are gonna be further out from Atlanta and those are way too far of a commute, but it just depends on if I were to get a different job that I'm working remote and I don't have to worry about that commute and I could pick really anywhere that I am interested in. So things are not settled in my life right now because of that. I am going through a big transition in my life right now in regards to a career change. So it's like, I'm so glad I did not buy a house because if I had to commit to a really expensive one in the city or if I was, you know, if I was back in the suburbs and still having to commute, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of aspects when it comes to my life currently and living in this apartment is just the best for me right now. Those are my main reasons for not purchasing a house right now and not wanting to purchase a house anytime soon. Even if I were to get a different job or you know work remote, anything like that, then I would still probably live here for some time because there's still the money aspect of it, saving up for a house, you know, 60,000 or whatever. I, I would like to save up a pretty solid chunk of cash for buying a house and that's gonna take a while, which is why I put it as one of my goals that's like five or six years out. And yeah, like I said, convenience is a big aspect of it because I absolutely love living here and everything around me is just perfect for me right now. So I don't wanna lose that. I do know that buying a house is a good investment and it's a good thing to strive for it's a good thing to have if that's your thing but it's just not a priority for me right now and i don't feel bad about that whatsoever so i'm very excited to one day be able to take you through that journey of me purchasing a house but i will say it's not going to be for some time but yeah i don't predict the future just is what it is right now and i wanted to share my reasonings behind that so that is it for this video. Please feel free to comment down below your opinion on owning a house versus renting and share whatever it is that you'd like in relation to that because that's always an interesting topic. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you in my next video.